Nutrition in human beings. The process of nutrition in human beings is called as digestion. Human beings consist of specialized organs for the process of digestion called as digestive system. Digestive system includes alimentary canal and digestive glands. Alimentary canal starts from mouth to anus. Mouth Mouth is the first part of the alimentary canal. The taking of food through the mouth is called ingestion. When food enters into the mouth, a complex food is crushed with the help of teeth and muscular tongue into small particles. This process is called chewing. Saliva secreted from salivary glands into buccal cavity. The crushed food forms into a soft bolus with the help of saliva. Saliva contains an enzyme called salivary amylase that broken down starch into sugar. Now partially digested food enters into digestive canal. It has a lining of muscles which helps to push the food forward. This movement is called peristaltic movement. Oesophagus The food enters from the mouth into stomach through food pipe or oesophagus. Stomach The stomach is a large muscular hollow part which expands when food enters into it. The muscular walls of the stomach help in mixing of food with digestive juices or enzymes. Gastric glands present in the walls of the stomach which released HCl, hydrochloric acid, mucus and digesting enzyme called pepsin. The mucus protects inner lining of stomach from action of acid under normal condition. The HCl creates an acidic medium which facilitates the action of pepsin. Small intestine The exit of food from the stomach regulated by a sphincter muscles which releases a small amount of food into small intestine. Small intestine is the largest part and coiling. The digestion of carbohydrates, proteins and fats occurs in small intestine. Fats are in the form of large globules, so it is difficult to break down. Hence, bile juices secreted from liver, it consists bile salts, which break down fats into small globules, which increase the efficiency of enzyme action. Pancreatic juice secretes from pancreas, which contains enzymes like trypsin and lipase. Proteins are break down with the help of trypsin and lipase for breakdown emulsified fats. The walls of small intestine secrete intestinal juices which finally digests proteins into amino acid. Carbohydrates converted into glucose. Fats converted into fatty acids and glycerol. In stomach, food is acidic in nature due to combined with HCl. So it's neutralized to alkaline with the help of pancreatic enzyme. Now the digested food is absorbed by walls of intestine. Absorption in small intestine The inner layer of small intestine consists of numerous finger-like projections called villi, which increase surface area of absorption. These are villi are richly supplied with blood vessels which supplies absorbed food to each and every cell of the body. The absorbed food is utilized for obtaining energy, building up new tissues and repair of old tissues. Large intestine The unabsorbed food is sent into large intestine. The large intestine also consists of villi which absorbs water from unabsorbed food. The remaining unabsorbed material which is called as feces is removed from the body through anus. The exit of feces is regulated by anal sphincter.